Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, and the Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, Your Excellency, the First Lady, Mama Rachel Ruto, Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Rigadi Gashagwa, and Pastor Dorcas Gashagwa, your Excellency, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, Musalia Mudavadi, and Mama Tesi Musalia, Cabinet Secretaries present, the Speaker of the National Assembly, the Speaker of the Senate, the Diplomatic Corps, Members of Parliament from both the National Assembly and the Senate, Wanainchi wa Nairobi, na Wanainchi wa Kenya, Happy Jamuhuri Day. Your Excellency, 59 years ago, close to where we stand today, in this county of Nairobi, our flag flew over a free people in a free country for the first time. Your Excellency, in the years before we won our independence, the people of Nairobi were violently divided by race. The colonizers' army surrounded and marched through Ziwani and Kariako and Pumwani, arresting thousands of Nairobians, many of whom ended up in a camp near here in what we call today Uhuru Gardens. Your Excellency, some paid the ultimate price there, thousands paid the ultimate price elsewhere in our country. That is the darkness from which our heroes of our independence delivered us from. Your Excellency, our freedom was bought by blood, and we should never forget that. We can never repay the debt that we owe to those who fought and died for our independence, but as responsible heirs, we can do three things. One, Your Excellency, we can remember and keep alive the memory of the sacrifice that they made to us. That is why we're here, to remember, to commemorate, and to make sure that we hand down that memory to our young people and our children for tomorrow. Your Excellency, the second thing we can do is to emulate them. They took risks, they were patriotic, they came together across the tribal divide without the technology that today we celebrate, but they were resilient and steadfast. That spirit must always remain with the people of Kenya. And Your Excellency, thirdly, we can complete the work that they began. They laid the foundation that we must build on, and we must build a house that is worthy of the foundation that they built. Your Excellency, continuing that work goes hand in hand with the theme of today, of ICT and innovation. Even as we welcome our guests from the Silicon Valley, we want to tell them that Nairobi and Kenya is the Silicon Savannah of Africa. Your Excellency, this country may not be endowed as much as others in terms of gold and minerals and oil. Our greatest asset is our people. Our greatest asset is not below the ground. Our greatest asset is above the ground. It is our young people. Your Excellency, the investment that you're putting into the digital superhighway will go a long, a long way in unlocking the potential of these great people of Kenya. Even as we review our curriculum, we realize that today we're in a global economy powered by information, driven by knowledge. The young people in Sigalagala must not be prepared to compete with young people of Singore in Elgeo Marakwet, but with young people of Singapore. The young people in Machakos are not being equipped to compete with young people in Makweni, but the young people growing up in Manhattan in New York. This is a global village, and we must give them the tools that they require to compete. Which is why, Your Excellency, and we congratulate you, in less than 100 days, you've launched the Hustler Fund. That should enable our people 
and all of those of us in government to know that we should not preoccupy ourselves just with those with millions of shillings in their accounts, but those with millions of ideas in their minds. That is the country that you lead and that we represent um, today. Your Excellency, as we complete the work and as we continue the work that was started by those who have been there before us, we must ensure that we live true to their dream of a country self-governed and not a country that goes into disorder and anarchy. And I want to thank you and the national government for supporting the Nairobi County government in restoring order in Nairobi. Your Excellency, today our children can sleep peacefully without endless noise from discos and nightclubs. It cannot be that young people cannot sleep because old people are enjoying themselves downstairs. We must restore sanity, we must restore order, and that is the dream of those who are there before us. Your Excellency, we shall continue in that work, and we shall make sure that we create more economic opportunities, even for those who are employed there, by zoning and establishing the right areas for each of us to ply our trade. Your Excellency, also, we are working hand in hand with the national government in restoring order when it comes to our environment. We are glad that we've gazetted the Nairobi Rivers Commission that will go a long way in restoring our rivers, not just Nairobi River, but also Madare River and Gong River, and making that an economic frontier for a clean city, a city of order, a city of dignity, a city of hope, and a city of opportunities. Your Excellency, in addition to that, we are working hand in hand with the Kenya Forest Services to begin a tree planting program throughout the county of Nairobi so that we can green our environment and engage our young people in restoring the environment that was bestowed to us. The environment that we find, Your Excellency, is not a gift that we give to generations that come, but it's something that we've borrowed from them. Today, we enjoy shades and sh from trees that are planted by many who do not see them coming up. Let us provide that for generations to come. Finally, Your Excellency, as governor of Nairobi, I want to offer you and the people of Kenya a Christmas, an early Christmas gift. You have seen the great creativity that has been displayed here. You have seen our arts, our ICT, you have seen our musicians. We want to welcome you to the first ever Nairobi festival that begins today at Uhuru Park that has been newly refurbished. There we are celebrating our arts we're celebrating our culture. Our creative economy has the potential of being a mega employer. If you look at Nigeria, Nollywood employs, is the second biggest employer after agriculture. We have that in us. Our young people have talent. We are showcasing 16 films from today and documentaries shot by young people in Nairobi over this week period. And Your Excellency will also enjoy the food and the vibe of Nairobi County. We want to welcome you. Excellency, finally, it is my privilege and my honor to at this point, Your Excellency, invite the Deputy President of the